Hello everyone. Today's topic is how do I customize my theme. Now say for example, I don't like this theme and I would want to change it. We would click on more actions, drop this menu down. And if you scroll down, you would see manage site. Click on manage site. Now this is for your site information. If you see the first one, it says your site name. If you want to change the name of your site, you could put that in. Now in here I say Laura's portfolio. I need to fix that and I'm going to put in as digital portfolio. And in future, if you actually want to delete the site, you don't like the site, you want to create another site, then you would click on delete the site. And we would not do any changes in here. Click on save button. The changes that we did is saved. If you look into your menu on the left hand side, there are a lot of choices in here, recent site activity, pages, attachments, page templates, app scripts, deleted items, sharing and permissions, and the last one is themes, colors, and fonts. So we would click on themes, colors, and fonts. If we take a look at this, the base theme we selected before was Terra Water. Maybe I want to change it, so I'm going to drop this arrow down. And you would see there are lots of ready-made template choices available for you. Terra Ice, Terra Water, Terra Ruby, Solitude Cherry. Say I select Solitude Cherry. And it shows me a preview here. Now, this is for my entire page. So if I want to change some settings for my entire page, I could do that. Click on Entire Page. You could select your background. If you want a theme, you could select theme. If you want to change the color, you could drop this arrow down and change your color to different. You can change the settings of your entire page. You could select background. And if you want a theme, you could select the theme. If you want to change the color, you could drop this arrow down and select a different color. And if you didn't like this color, you could again select a different color in here. It's too bright. Now, next, if you want to change the color of the text, you could select a font. If you drop this arrow down, you'll see there are a lot of choices of your font. So you could pick a font that you like. I'll stick with Georgia. And you could pick a font color. If you want font color as red, it becomes red. And sometimes you want to link a color. Say for example, a hyperlink you did to a page and you want that hyperlink to be dark blue. You can pick that. All these hyperlinks are dark blue. And visited link color. Say for example, I went to a page, I saw the page and went back to my original page. So if you want to change that color to the visited link, then I can always pick a different color. So if you see, I already went to these pages, so it changed the colors. You could pick another dark color if you like here. Now site header. Site header is this heading. You can change the background of your choice. If you don't like that, you could always change it to another color. Title, you can change the title. If you want a font, you could select a font. And then you want to select a color. I'm going to keep it red. Red looks good. And I'm going to size. I'm going to select theme. And I could select the size if I like. That's 16 is too little. That's 24. That's 36. 36 looks good. And my content area. So if I want to change the content area, that's going to be this part of the page. I can change the background color and if I want to pick a theme or add a picture I could add a picture keep one thing in mind not a good idea to put any pictures as your background your page becomes distracted Say for example, I want to pick a picture 
and I want to put that as my background. This would be. So I don't want a background. I will select theme. So I don't need a picture. Page title. You could select what font you need. That changes to Georgia. What font color you need. I would stick with red. What font size you need. Eighteen is good. I can do for each header. Change the font, change the color, change the size. Content area catches. You could take a look at it, and you could click on it and play with it. Title background, title text, sidebar gadgets. Those are the ones that's here. You could pick a background, you could pick a color of your choice. You could change the title, keep it Georgia. You could change the color, you could change the size. Title background if you want to change the color. Now, the more colors you put, the more pictures you put, your website, your web page looks very distracted. So, keep in mind, try to stay consistent with your colors, with your font names, font size, titles. A horizontal navigation, what we have right now is sidebar navigation, that's vertical. If you need, you could have a horizontal navigation as well, that would be horizontal. And you could pick a color. If you want red, you could do that red. You could pick the selected text and you could pick what color you need. You could pick a background color. And if you want to keep it as a theme, you could select theme. Once you're done, you like the changes that you did, you would click on save. Now keep in mind, I clicked save because I was showing you in here how to make changes to your website, to your web pages. Now you don't want to be as colorful as I have my website in here. Remember I said too many pictures on your page, too many colors distract the website. So we, your website should look professional, simple, clean, and easy to read and follow. So do not put too many pictures as your background. Do not put too many color combinations as your background. Now, if I don't like this, what I did, I want my original theme back. What I would do is I would click on this button that says clear all customizations. And you would have your original Terra Water theme back again. And then you could click save. Now, once you're done making changes to your themes, colors, and fonts, you can click on save and go back to your website by clicking on this button, Laura's Digital Portfolio.